How's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a great morning. Today, we have some gameplay and other footage regarding Firebase Z. Now, I don't really want to waste your time in this video. I, I was debating about putting the footage in the video. I don't think I'm going to do that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put the footage in the link in the description so you'll be able to go to a cloud drive that I've set up for Zombies Leaks. So right now, they should there, there will be some Zombies information in there. And right now, there is a video going around round of the gameplay and it's just the character or the main player running into a facility and to be honest it looks basically just like D Machina which does give me a little bit of pause but it also kind of makes sense from a lore standpoint where obviously this is Omega and they're going to be creating outposts that are similar and they created the first facility so or they stumbled upon the first facility and then they're probably going to mimic its uh you know layout whatnot and there's going to be mantling so Treyarch is probably going to be reusing these assets that are similar from Warzone and multiplayer etc so it does make sense but it's a little disappointing then there will be an image in this same cloud drive and I can't tell if this is part of the map or if it's a multiplayer map that has uh that onslaught mode and it basically has the character shooting a zombie in what looks like an open era open area with tall buildings and it looks like it could be that village that they were talking about. Not really sure. It looks like a palace courtyard or something like that. What this reminds me of is the very first mission in Black Ops 1. So not really sure what this is, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Also in this cloud drive that I've posted, there is an image of the Tombstone perk machine, which looks pretty sweet. Not going to lie. I really like the design of this. I'll probably put this in the thumbnail or something. I don't think this will be that big of an issue. And by the way, I want to let everybody know I did not take this kind content. This is not, I didn't find this. I think Nanakos found this as well as some other data miners, the cheeseburger boys, etc. I did not take this. This is not, I'm not taking credit for this at all. So the last piece of information I want to let you guys know about, this has to do with this DLC season in general. And this is a blog post posted on 4chan. And then there is another leaker, Nanakos, who is backing this up on Reddit. So I'm going to read both of those. It's going to be a little dry, but I'm going to put the images on screen. You can read them for yourself or you can listen to me, whatever. Either way is cool. I know this place doesn't really like COD much, referring to 4chan, but I have lots of info about the coming DLCs for Zombies Mode, and I don't want to dump it on Reddit. So here it goes. Six maps coming, one map each season three free maps three maps tied to the battle pass vietnam map called firebase z and it's already announced coming 4th of february so nothing to say here the map is split into two portions a medium-sized outpost with tiny rooms and corridors but lots of space and big areas and an abandoned village in the middle of the jungle that has muddy water and sw with swimming zombies that's pretty cool second map is called mauer de toten and is set in east berlin during the 80s huge outside streets paired with tiny spaces on the inside of various buildings features chunks of both kino Dear Toten and Varuk from the old Call of Duty Zombies games. Third map called Spusk Stali and is set on a glacier on the base of a huge snowy mountain. The map goes all the way from the Russian facility at the top of the mountain to the frozen caverns that run inside of it, full of weird ruins and ancient artifacts, completely vertical map. The gimmick is set around portals connecting to different caverns and tunnels where the player would leap from the top and land into a portal and come out of another portal, an entirely different part of the map still in early development. Very interesting. Now, those three maps will be free, but there are three more coming every other season, starting season two. Don't know if they will do it every season from now on, but the Battle Pass features some zombies content tiers, namely skins for operator Samantha Maxis and Eddie Redpool, unlockable exclusively on the zombies mode. But more importantly, the Battle Pass features a new map for this mode, remade from the ground up from the original Black Ops 2 version called Green Run, where players ride a bus and move around a huge area escaping the zombies. Two more maps are remade from Black Ops 2 and presumably will come in the future battle passes die rise another vertical map set on a skyscraper and buried set in an abandoned western town then we have somebody who commented on this post saying i heard this too from someone i know who works at activision and then it says a f a i k the original plan oh, maybe that's the i don't know what the hell that means the original plan was to do just three free maps so there was only going to be four maps total one every other season but since and that's because activision didn't have much faith in zombies doing super well after black ops 4 but given the very positive response to zombies this year they're moving ahead with more content on a faster schedule
schedule. Also, this is still very early, but there are talks to either port Zombies Chronicles over to Cold War or create a Zombies Chronicle 2 with maps that haven't been remade, mostly from BO3 and BO4 to extend Zombies monetization past the next COD's release, which will not have its own Zombies mode. Wow, so the next COD is not going to have Zombies, which is going to be Modern Warfare 2019 or the Sledgehammer one. Interesting. Then we have Nonicos on Reddit basically backing this up. So I'm going to read some of the same stuff, but it's just so you guys can pretty much understand what's going on. Was going to post this, but apparently I can't create, create posts here. Whatever. Uh, Firebase Z. Map is split into two portions, a medium-sized outpost with tiny rooms and corridors, but lots of space and big areas and an abandoned village in the middle of a jungle that is money water with swimming zombies. So basically agreeing with that guy. Uh, Mauer de Toten set in East Berlin in the 80s. Huge outside streets paired with tiny spaces on the inside of various buildings. Features chunks from both Kino and Varok. Busk Skali, Stali, which is Descent of Steel set in a glacier on the base of a huge snowy mountain. The map goes from Russian facility at the top of the mountains to the frozen caverns that run inside of it, full of weird ruins and ancient artifacts. This map sounds really awesome. Completely vertical. The gimmick is set around portals connecting to different caverns and tunnels. We already read that, so basically agreeing with this guy fully, and maybe he's the one that posted it on 4chan, I'm not sure. As for future content, there are six maps coming in total, one each season. Originally was going to be four maps, so... I'm assuming that's the three plus D Machina. Three free maps, three maps tied to the battle pass. The three free maps are the ones I mentioned above. As for the battle pass stuff, that may be subject to change. Starting from season two, battle pass will have zombies content such as Samantha, Operator, and Eddie Redpole. The three other maps will be in the battle pass and they're going to be Transit, Buried, Die Rise, Remade from the ground up, which is very interesting. Then somebody commented and said, can you confirm this or are you relaying this from another leaker? You were spot on pre-launch. Is this from the same source? Thank you, dude. Nonicos replies, I personally cannot confirm it myself as it's not from the same source. Essentially a friend of mine who knows the guy who made the 4chan post and he also works with the same source and from what he tells me this guy has been right with info he has given him in the past. Apparently he has known about all of this for two months or so and the guy who made the 4chan post had split off from their main source and put all of this out and now he is no longer to be trusted with this stuff. Edit. So who the hell knows really but we best wait for Firebase D and see how well that ends up and see what happens from there. So pretty interesting stuff. I I, uh, I have to say, it's kind of getting me a little hyped for zombies. I, I'm down with a little familiarity of those remakes of Transit, Buried, and Die Rise. I really wanted those. I don't really know how it will fit into the storyline. Maybe it'll just be a straight up remake with, with the Victus characters, but I can't believe they were only going to do four maps. That's disappointing. I thought they were going to have five, so one, four for the DLC season and then one for the launch. We were going to get less content this year than, than any other game, except for World at War. This was going to be World at War 2.0. Very interesting stuff. I'm glad Activision is going to give us more zombies, maps. Apparently it's going to be tied to the battle pass, which is pretty interesting to me. I, the way I look at it, if they're going to stick with their free zombies content, I think what they're going to do is have that be a part of the free tier in the battle pass. And then if you want to buy the battle pass, you can, because you obviously earn some free tiers just by playing. I think that's how they'll do it to make you play multiplayer in the other modes. I don't know if it'll be immediately unlockable or if it will be part of a bundle where you get a bunch of other content as well as zombie map. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. I personally don't mind that, especially if they're going to give us three other maps for free. It sounds fine to me. So that's pretty much the news, guys. I mean, other channels are probably covering it. I'm trying to give you guys the actual uh, sources and the actual, you know, footage from these leakers themselves. So hopefully you guys can, uh, you know, hit the like button, all that stupid crap. So I just wanted to say thank you and I will see you guys in the next video.